Hi, this is actually part two of my previous video where I couldn't be bothered taking the power supply apart. Well, I'm taking it apart now. As you can see, it's full of some weird transformers and some very expensive capacitors. Now just remove the top board, cut the wires out of the way. And there's the weird transformer right in the bottom, which I'll remove shortly. It's solid. Looks like it's clear, but it's not. It's actually solid wax, is that? There's the circuit boards I've removed. These are uh, wet, wet tantalum capacitors and the nuts and bolts at the top are actually diodes and the transistor. Some more diodes in the bottom there. Here's one of the transformers. Kind of weird. The design for 400 hertz. And there's the main transformer. This one supplied all the voltages to the circuit boards in the main box. There were two large power supply modules in the main box as well, so I presume this went to them. I didn't really take much notice of where all the wires went. And most of these on this connector go back to this transformer, so. got plenty of taps on it. It's got a weird looking transformer, is that? Some chokes there, along with the other transformer. Now is the underneath of the back plane. I've removed the other side so you can see all the wiring. It's all been done by hand, all wire wrapped. Must have taken some of the ages to make that. There's the two uh, power buses. I believe that's the 5 volt rail, is that? Those were the yellow wires. And here's another look at that weird transformer with all the wires cut off. Yellow wires were with a three phase input. It's designed to work at 115 volts, 400 hertz. And here's the uh, me starting and removing all the wiring. This took her, that was really difficult to remove. And here's the big mess I've got to clear up. And this one here, it looked a bit weird. A load of exposed wiring that's uh, too near the chassis. Well, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.